Today is Earth Day and the question we're asking is where is Australia's contribution? My name is Dr Adam Bumpus, I'm a senior lecturer here at the University of Melbourne in the School of Geography and I've just come back from two weeks in the United States in Washington DC working with some big institutional organisations like the World Bank on how do we combat climate change, how do we create the contributions to create communication and collaboration to deal with the issue. And what I saw in the last two weeks is there is a ton of momentum behind making things change, behind getting behind real climate action. I was at a concert on Saturday, which was the Earth Day Global Citizen Concert, where there were nearly 300,000 people supporting action on climate change. A few days before that, I was working with the World Bank in their headquarters there with some great high-level people on a round table on how do we communicate climate change. And the words that came out of that were, we can get behind this action and we can make it happen if we connect and communicate it properly. One of the problems we're seeing here in Australia is that although the USA is taking action, although China is taking action, although Mexico and Europe and a bunch of other countries around the world are taking action on climate change, we see that Australia's contribution to this is slipping behind. And this poses both huge problems for us as a country that's going to experience the impacts of climate change and as a country that's going to lose out on the opportunities that come from low carbon development, low carbon technologies, and the opportunity that sits in Australia for great amounts of renewable energy. What we're going to do here at the university is we're working on a decarbonisation uh, pathways, and decarbonisation research, but what we have to do today is ask ourselves, on, to, on Earth Day, on the day where the world comes together, the biggest civic movement of people around the world happens today, every year, what do we do about this in Australia and how can we contribute to the, uh, creation, creating a future that's worth living under combating climate change? One of the partners that the university is working with is Connect for Climate at the World Bank and they've shown just how much commitment there is behind finding action on climate change. Uh, their tweets and their uh, media that went out on Saturday with the, the Earth Day concert reached 30 million people and we saw the level of support that came for this climate change action. What we have to ask ourselves here is how do we galvanise technology, how do we galvanise political support and how do we galvanise people to put together climate solutions that really work for Australia. And that's part of the stuff we're doing here at the university and working with our partners in industry and in government.